Today we're going to be dealing with one-point perspective, the basics of one-point perspective. So go ahead and label your paper one-point perspective. This is linear perspective. To start with, we're going to have to draw out a horizon line. This is the line where the sky meets the earth. In this case, it's where my ruler divides it about halfway on the page. So this is my horizon line. Go ahead and label that horizon line. Horizon line. This is one point perspective, so somewhere we're going to have to put one vanishing point. So for this case, I'm going to put my vanishing point towards the middle. I'm drawing it very large, and I'm going to label it vanishing, vanishing, I-N-G, point, P-O-I-N-T, vanishing point. There's four rules of thumb for this, and we're going to start with the first, and that is all vertical lines are vertical. So somewhere above and to the side of my vanishing point, I'm going to draw a vertical line. I'm going to draw a horizontal line. That's my second rule. All horizontal lines are horizontal. Well, it's not just my rule, it's the rule. So I've got my top and my bottom of that square, a rectangle. And lastly, I'm going to draw in my last vertical line so that I have a square or a rectangle drawn on my page. So I've drawn out my horizon line, my vanishing point, and now I've got a rectangle or a square. Go ahead and draw these out. Pause my video now. Now that I have my rectangle drawn out, I'm going to deal with the next set of lines, and those are my diagonal lines. So diagonal lines go from the bottom outside corner, the bottom inside corner, and the top inside corner to my vanishing point. Diagonal lines go to the vanishing point. These rules we're going to use at this point. Later on in your career, you're not going to need them because you'll base a lot of it on observation. But for the time being, let's do this. So my top diagonal line to my vanishing point, my middle diagonal line to my vanishing point, and my bottom diagonal line to my vanishing point. Once you've got these three lines drawn in, now we have to end this cube because we're not super wealthy. Well, some of us aren't super wealthy. Some of us might be. Good for you. We have to finish this box, this cube rather. This is the square, now we're making it 3D. So between my top diagonal and my middle diagonal, I'm going to draw a vertical line to wrap that up. Yeah. Get that drawn in there. Making sure that it is very vertical, or as vertical as I can get at this point. Between my bottom diagonal and my middle diagonal, where that first vertical line gets touching here, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And through the magic of art supplies, you are probably drawing this with pencil, I am not. I'm going to erase the bottom portions whoops, of my diagonal lines so that it does not go on forever. You guys can take your erasers and do the same. So go ahead, take care of that. Go ahead, you can pause this. Please check your neighbor's work. Make sure they've got this looking just like you have. So we've drawn one cube above the horizon line. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to draw it below the horizon line. I'm not going to take much time to stop in this one. I'm just going to draw this. So I start again with a horizontal line as the top of my cube. A horizontal line as the bottom of my cube. I'm going to use a vertical line. Switching rulers here. I'm going to use a vertical line 
to show the edge of my square and the other outside edge of my square. A little break in my triangle there. Magic eraser. Now from the top outside, the top inside, and the bottom inside, where am I going to draw to? You guessed it. I am going to draw to my vanishing point. So from the top outside to my vanishing point, from the top inside to my vanishing point, and from the bottom inside to my vanishing point. Lastly, for this, I'm going to draw a horizontal line from the top diagonal to my middle diagonal where it intersects. I'm going to stop and I'm going to draw a vertical line down to my bottom diagonal and then again I'll take my eraser and I will erase those lines so that I just have a cube. I don't have an infinite cube, which would be awfully nice, but I don't have room in my backyard to keep that. I don't think you do either. So there's my second cube. Now this cube is below the horizon line. Go ahead, check your work, check your neighbors to see that you're doing this right. The last cube I'm going to show you is going to be on the horizon line. So I will draw a uh, I will draw a vertical line that goes from beneath to above my horizon line. I will draw another one that goes from beneath to above my horizon line. I'm going to connect them with a horizontal line to show the top and another horizontal line to show the bottom. Now I can take my eraser and erase the horizon line between the two. I'll leave the words there so you can see that. And now from my top inside and my bottom inside I'm going to draw, you guessed it, diagonal lines to my vanishing point. This time I'm not going to draw it all the way. I am lining it up. I'm going to save myself a little erasing time by drawing it just far enough back to where I want it to stop and then I will use a here, vertical line to connect them. Let's finish touching that up. So now I have a cube on my horizon line that does not go back forever. And this one is on the horizon line. The last rule of thumb is rule number four and it is always, 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 what do you think? You got it. Use a <laughs> ruler. All right, so here's our above, below, on the horizon line, one point perspective. Again, this is linear perspective. Go to it. Check your work. You can play this video as many times as you want until you get it right. Have a good one. Bye.